Hello and welcome to this week's FPL video focusing on game week 11. We'll be reviewing game week 10 and the players who I had suggested to avoid, pick and take an outside risk on. Then we'll be looking at how my team did in game week 10 before moving on to this week's transfers, starting 11 and who I think will be the best players to avoid, pick and take a risk on for game week 11. So recapping my suggestions for game week 10 and it was two out of three. Kane and Spurs found it difficult again against Manchester City with the striker only picking up two points from the game played on an absolutely terrible pitch. Sticking with Salah turned out to be rewarding for myself and for my player of the week pick with the king of Egypt bagging 15 points against Cardiff. He got two assists and a goal and was my captain. My outside shot didn't pan out with the German Schürrle though and his Fulham side were beating resoundingly by an informed Bournemouth side who I do feel will fall at some time soon. They have a difficult run of fixtures ahead. As for myself, it was another average week made worse by terrible transfers. Now, on paper, it looked fine. However, Alexander-Arnold ended up playing this week for Liverpool, but he only got two points. Still better than uh, Zabier. But, however, Arnautovic didn't even play at all. He was injured. He's been sick and was left out of the Leicester City game. And I had replaced him for Wilson, who picked up a cracking 13 points, leaving me to rue my transfer business in the market. And uh, Hazard was also out of this week's action, but I'd already made my transfer and changes. I could not uh, affect that. And Robertson was dropped to the bench against Cardiff, which resulted in me having to use all of my outfield substitutes and playing a 4-4-2. Fortunately, Foster, Alonso and Super Salah picked up a healthy amount of points to keep my neck just above an average score. I just wanted to talk about my transfer plans and for me it's getting to crunch time. I've stuck with Salah and Aguero, however I'm looking at my team and thinking of the money. Salah has done well in recent weeks and uh, the usually reliable Aguero is arguably the league's best striker. However Salah is still valued at 12.9 million and Aguero not playing over 70 minutes since game week 4 has certainly got me thinking. I don't feel that many if any of the top strikers are actually worth it this year whereas defenders and especially midfielders are scoring points for fun so it may be time to go for a bit more of quantity over quality especially with selling Salah giving me around a three million boost so if you got rid of the likes of Salah you could bring in Pogba, Ozil and De Bruyne along that midfield. But I'm going to wait until I pull the trigger on this with Liverpool having a good run of fixtures coming up and City at home to Southampton next week. But let me know your suggestions in the comments below for my team. And uh, should I strike sooner rather than later or wait for the winter wild card? As for this week's transfer, finally, I know a lot of people want him to go. Jorginho is out of the side and it's a like for like price switch with Will Hughes. Watford have been a bit of a wild card this season. They, they seem to either be you know, chalk or cheese, beautiful or woeful. And uh, this season they have a, the, the, sorry, the next few games coming up, uh, I think that they've got a few points to be had there. And with Will Hughes tying down or trying to tie down that right attacking mid slot, uh, I brought him in over the low scoring, but consistent Jorginho. So moving on to this week's starting 11, and we're looking at the 3-5-2 with Seeds and Stalwart Ben Foster in goal. At the back, Seeds, Zabiera and Alonso looking to get a good game week under their belt with Robertson facing a tough tie at Arsenal. New man Will Hughes lines up next to Mora, Salah, the recalled Theo Walcott and Captain Hazard. So Sarri has actually said he wants Hazard on the pitch as much as possible, which as an FPL manager is music to your ears. And he has actually earmarked the Palace game as his return. He believes the midweek game uh, in the cup is too soon and he wants to save him for the weekend. Up top sees 60 minute man Aguero next to a hopefully fit again Marko Nautovic, but that is just going to have to wait until later on in the week to see if that comes true. That leaves Ings back on the bench alongside Bennett and Wampasaka and backup keeper Hamer. Finally, moving on to this week's avoid, pick and take a risk on for game 11. And my player to avoid again this week is Lukaku. Four games, sorry, four goals all season dropped for the Everton game. Yet Lukaku is the fourth most expensive striker. And for me, that's 10.8 million that could be better used elsewhere. And with City away next week, it's not looking any easier for the big Belgian. So if there is a time to sell him, I think the time is now. 
Speaking of choosing the same players, my player to pick again this week is Raheem Sterling. Yet again, he makes it as the top pick this week. And so long as he's going to play, as long as Pep Guardiola selects him, it's difficult to see anyone else. Hazard is a doubt, but, and he probably could or would have been my choice but with City at home to Southampton it looks like the easiest game this week for one of the top sides and a game that looks ripe for Sterling to take at least six points from. For a risk I'm going to go with the inform and low priced Ross Barkley at 5.8 million he is in tremendous form scoring 36 points in the last three game weeks. Chelsea face Palace at home so the potential for points are there but the only real question is whether or not Sarri is going to stick with him and put Barkley on the pitch for a solid amount of time. So that was this week's FPL video reviewing game week 10 and taking a look towards game week 11. Remember to let me know in the comments below your thoughts on how to improve my team as well as your picks of players on who to avoid and who to pick for game week 11. I hope you enjoyed the video guys and as always have a good one.